surprise. Did you miss me? Maybe. Well, so, had more hiccups. I feel like every single video I'm going through this and being like, yeah, so there was a problem in the last video. Well, this time, my recording dumped, so I lost like two and a half hours. Straight up bananas, but uh, I don't know if this will be in the middle or the beginning of another episode. I don't know. The only thing I can say is, boy howdy, has this been an experience. Alright, I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, that's too fast. Can I turn down my sensitivity a little bit? Oh, thank you. Those look like some good wieners. Some wieners and toast. Oh, I can turn it on and off. Okay. I didn't even know you could interact with the radios in this game. Just like these computers. No, kidding. I knew you could interact with them, but I'm not going to. Reading dialogue on computers is so boring. Shit. Chill us. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more cellos there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. The Hawk is the ecosystem's regional uplink. It stays in the air powered by a wind generator. A Hawk can be controlled via the terminal. Any hostile activity picked up by the Dandelion CCT TV cameras will result in sending a level two alert to the nearest robot assembly plant calling for reinforcement. So, don't let, don't let the camera see you, easy enough. They've already, they teach you that along the there way. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the like security that one? cameras is Goodbye. sent directly to the airborne robot control hub. No that one? The phone. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. You get take this cartridge off. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Fast little bugger. But not fast enough. Hi there, comrade. I'm Bessie the Cow, and if you're hearing this recording, that means I have lost. Please tell my owner that you found me. Um, she'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Tereshkovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Tereshkovas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Oh, 
Well, I mean, you should be grateful. At least the thing on your hand isn't wanting to kill you, right? My only friend in the whole world. Give me your loot. Give me your loot. Fucking chicken, get out of here. Don't want none of this. Don't want none of this fire. I'm just getting started. How do you like that? Somehow missed a chest. Where's that? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. I hope they don't see me. Make it a break. There's some of that up close, up close in danger. seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Sechenov said I needed to hurry. A frontal assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Uh, I don't think we're actually in that big of a hurry. I kind of am. Considering how behind I am. On my recording stuff. Actually, super behind. Because the Diablo closed beta starts tomorrow, and I'm going to be recording that. I still need to record the chainsaw demo for RE4. And be ready for that uh, when RE4 drops on the 23rd. I think it said the 23rd. Uh oh, I'm stuck in here with him. Pull out your shotgun. Never mind, he's stupid. And we have... I have about roughly 30 hours of this game to complete. So... <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a struggle getting through, uh... Getting through the recording process and all this stuff. And I'm also very tired. And I need to make a break for it. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Open up. Let me see what's inside. Are you taking a shit? Not on my watch. Robots. I don't know why the robots like to hang out in the outhouses in this game. I used to live out in the old country. We used to say, Sabas, Sabas, to the, to the cows. They actually re react to that a lot better than move. 
if you're going to talk to a cow, just in case anybody needed to learn how to talk to a cow. You don't just say moo at them, they, you, you say moo to them and they just, they just look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? What does that even mean? any other goodies guessing in there I sure hope I don't get interrupted. Oh, I'm being interrupted. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm picking a different spot here. Can I, can I get in through another way? Maybe I didn't get enough time to actually figure this out. It's actually not that bad. Hurry up! Let me in the dough! Let me in the dough! God, I'm so hyped for RE4 remake. I actually will play the original RE4 at some point on this channel, and I am... I want to say I'm rather good at it. I've, I've played it enough times that, uh... I feel pretty, pretty proficient at RE4, and, uh, I, I, I really would like to show that off at some point. Probably won't be any time in the, in the near immediate future, but... It, it will happen. <laughs> Enough of the exploding shit! And then... Alright, where are they? Where, where are you at? Oh my god, there's so much going on here. Yeah, I need to I need to retreat out back for a second. Can you get out of here? At least draw him out into the damn open. I won't have any more of that bullshittery. This is up, man. God. All right. 
Uh, where am I moving to next? There seems to be a desk over there I haven't read. Oh, I sure did miss a desk in there. Oh, how am I taking damage indoors? Get out of here. I think that's everything. I guess not, but please tell me this this is gonna work. Oh, if I could have like just like rigged it to work, that would have been great. making it really hard to loot. Yeah, a guy just loot in peace. Man, he looks like he had a good time. He's like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Uh. Like, like the, the, the post-nut clarity hit him hard, dude. Almost everything. Good God. I never learned my lesson. I always dodge when I can. <laughs> Dodging in this game causes problems when you're indoors. The game don't like it. it. Doesn't even like you going over a lot of its ge like geometry without making you get stuck periodically. Looks like somebody needs to work on their aim, scrub. Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... Hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. We gotta get to Granny Zena, Warrior Babushka. Am 
my god, the fight. The fight. He really thought that was gonna work. He's like... Yeah. Maybe he'll activate the thing. Oh, fuck. Instead of getting, ha getting attacked by a... Fucking Go, bulbous head big daddy. Mr. Bubbles! Damn you, Benny Zeta! That fucking bot almost killed me. Well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist. Granny Zena, so, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sachinov, I want internal you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our atomic heart project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore the that answer the world was millions. would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm millions glad and to millions. Hear you still value human life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population, the launch of the collective neural network, Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. Very shifty I've shit got going a on. present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. 
It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Please select the desired procedure. I'm about ready to start doo-wopping with this music. More health, please. At least for now. I think the next one I will grab sleaze ball next. Authorization. Major need. Oops. But in the meantime. I don't want to get rid of some stuff here. Just gotta keep one clip of that. I usually like to keep quite a bit of shoddy ammo on me. Honestly, I don't even think I really need that much. I always find more. I kind of wish they allowed you to mix stuff and make it stronger, I, I guess is what I'm going for there. I mean, it, 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 it'd be a lot nicer, in my opinion. So you could just condense resources rather than just getting rid of them or dismantling them. So I can craft something nice. I wonder when I'm gonna get the recipe for that. This Kalesh. Kalosh. Fire up, let's go. I think that's about all I'm going to get. Authorization. Oh, I still do. I still have a pistol on me. Yes. Go get rid of that. And I might throw a few upgrades into the pistol. Why not? I don't feel like throwing a cartridge module on it. I feel like that's a waste. But with some basic resources I got a ton of, why not? You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve. Haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. You got the gorillas playing in the background, apparently. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Xena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? 
I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. A push. Yes, that's what a it takes to get through a thick skull. Get through that thick pussy. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. Deal or no deal? That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait, you're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. I would love to take you to the So, I have a question. Is this normal Russian behavior? Do people normally hang carpets off their wall? I mean, I'm just asking for, you know... I mean, reasons. I, it just, it seems so strange to me. I feel like any, like, Russian shows and stuff I've watched at some point, there's carpet on the wall. And I'm always confused by that. I mean, I'm not saying it's not cool. I mean, like, some carpet designs are awesome. Charles, I mean, who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Eh, that it doesn't matter. matter. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Oh, I found I the right see camera. Anything I can interact with, but I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated while accessing the video camera. Let's try it. Surprise! There's not really a whole lot of stuff to interact got with. Got a camera? Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Such a strange mechanic. I don't. I don't really understand why they. Uh, Decided to go with that as your map. I feel like there's a better way to make your map system. You know, like how Fallout had a had a, a pit boy, where you could bring up your map anytime you needed to, and it was detailed and well, I mean, somewhat, not really, but detailed enough to know what was going on. Like this game's map, kind of trash mode. Not gonna lie. Ow. I feel no pain. Damn, apparently. <sighs> There's something on the table over here. What we got.
Can I get a 9 o'clock appointment, Nina? I'm gonna take a day off. Camilla got one of those amazing poly hairstyles for her wedding. Can you do that for me, too? Pretty please? You know, the kind where it's one style in the morning and then it's different in the evening. And the color changes. Be careful. The enemy is on high alert. Everything. Uh, oh, fuck. The collective update. All our bosses and I've done it now. Foreigners. I don't want to look all frumpy. I can't oh, I even see him. He's hiding in the shrubbery. Sure are amazing for beauty stuff, huh? Shit, where did it keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. I think I handled that relatively well. I'm not dead, so that's positive. We got so many goodies to purloin. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Coming in through the back. Let me in, let me in. Let me in, let me out. Are you alive? Are you dead? You dead. Eat dead AF. Q, 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 Q. Q it up. So, it's kind of funny, getting to play through this so many times, I've come to the realization that certain schematics are not set on where they can be. They can change. I don't know why it didn't let me use my skill. I really do undervalue shock a lot. I almost never use it. I mean, maybe because it sucks <laughs> and it's not powered up yet, so... Probably a good part of it. Oh my god. I screwed up again. You beefy bastard. I think I just got an achievement. 
Not that I, I care. I literally do not care about achievements these days. It used to be the biggest achievement horror. Mm -hmm. Spend so much time running achievements. Which is why I don't really get bothered running games over and over again. It is actually not a bother for me. I mean, I, I definitely play play one too much for sure. But, uh... Yeah, I don't... I don't mind running a game a couple times. This has just been insanity, though. Every, every bit of trying to record this game has been a nightmare. And it's one of my first recordings I've decided to pick as of recently. Uh, even though I'm a lot more knowledgeable in recording and setting up streams and all that now, but I just have had no luck with this game. <laughs> like, good dear god. I think I have all the, the bugs worked out now. At least most of them. I'm sure something else will come to rear its ugly head at some point. You know, it, and for a lot of people, I feel like this comes second nature to them because they were like born in technology and stuff or around it and computers and whatnot. I really wasn't. And so it's it's been quite a bit of a struggle for me. I am, however, learning more every day. It's the only thing I can really say. One step at a time. While I mindlessly loot these cabinets. Spread your shit. Give me your shit. How are you? <laughs> yeah, got it. Siphon your booty. Get the booty ciphered. Packing into that booty mainframe. Zvizadochka. Zvizadochka. I can see why more people don't record and whatnot. I mean, a lot of people do. <laughs> it's kind of like the modern day gold rush, right? Everybody kind of wants to be an influencer and all that good stuff, or just like not have to work a, a traditional job for the most part. <clears throat> Even though I've been working a traditional job my whole life. So this is really, to me, this is just something I do for fun outside and uh, I, I actually find learning how to record and whatnot to be really fun I mean it'd be cool if I get to engage with an audience at some point I'm really gonna be looking forward to that but for now I'm talking into the ether or the maybe one person out there who's listening and I appreciate you Really flubbing it up today. All right, where you at? They like to hide. Specifically, these guys—they they love hiding in an ambush area, out of bushes and stuff. As in the what an ambush would be from the bushes. Look at him go. Look at him go. They have some kind of weird 
like Mega Man quality to them. They remind. I don't know the name of the little robots from Mega Man, but for some odd reason, their little stubby legs kind of make me think procedure. about them. It's just adorable. I like the the one robots that like bring Mega Man like the, the energy capsule that he'd drink. They get his crunk on. Give me more health. I know I said I was gonna grab Sleaze Ball next, but I mean that that more health is just and Juggler. Juggler's pretty good. Oh god, I so, almost forgot I need to grab this stuff. Shoo up, shoo up, do up, do up. Taking me back to my old wire days. Ugh. Or it sounds like that uh, that royalty free music that you you see on on YouTube that people use, where they're like doing some like mundane ass shit. Maybe baking a cake or something, and like it, they always use music that sounds like this, where it's kind of like upbeat, but almost like it's clearly stock though. I do have to say this this song does have a little bit of depth in the background. I don't know what the instrument is, but like right there, that, that that's, that's pretty good. Some little guitar twangs in there. Increases aiming speed. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to that stuff for just a little while longer. And I may make the the Vizdochka. Yeah, matter. I'm out. I'm out. Time to blow this pop cycle stand. Only we all could be so lucky to blow a guy named Stan. Eminem's biggest fan, Stan. Hey. Oh shit! It's all fun games till someone busts out the AK, bruh. bruh. That that was intentional. Well, don't make fun of me. Now I am the predator from the bushes. That's right. Where'd he go? I'll just choose not to worry about it. There's a robot in here. Get, get I hear other robots. Outside. About to give him a little a little surprise reach around here. I'll just leave them to their business. They're not hurting anybody. They're just sitting around cutting wood. Where yeah.
<laughs> suck to suck. <laughs> Staring at. I changed my mind. Come here. Come here, Eddie Gordo. Yeah, this. I think that was the name of the robot in Mega Man. It was, it was Eddie. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no! I whiffed that last shot. Oh yeah, you clip. You clip hard. I love clipping. Something that we're never going to get away from when it comes to making games, I don't think. Every game I can think of has clipping in it. I mean, it's not... It doesn't make a game bad. It's just, I mean, sometimes it's just... There's no choice. The train, the woo, the uh, woo wooing. And that's why we use mass telekinesis. Mass pyrokinesis. Oh, that. That reminds me, I was watching a live stream of uh, Avalanche Reviews the other day, and he was playing through Castlevania. Not gonna lie, got me real fucking nostalgic. That's gonna happen at some point on here too, we will be playing some Metroidvanias. And most likely getting stuck on some Metroidvanias, because that almost always happens. I can't think of one Metroidvania I've ever played that I didn't have to whip out a guide for. Because otherwise I'll just be meandering around until I somehow figure out where to go. And that doesn't make for great entertainment, in my opinion. But if you're going to watch someone, it's Major not... Nichayev, code name P3, access granted. Grant my P3. I'm going to save up for Juggler. Please select the desired. Sorry, it's annoying to watch this, but I, I'm trying to make it quick as I can. That's just part of this game. You're going to be going to the upgrade machine a lot. Sure, I didn't miss any loot. Oh, oh so no, so. Black, 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 black. Wait. Spread them robo cheeks, baby. I'm coming in. <laughs> My own movement scares me sometimes. Ooh, 
Ooh, cartoons. What's on the cartoon? No sound? I don't fucking know, bro. Still convinced this is the weirdest way to get up there. Excellent. I didn't expect this. Oh, a survivor. I didn't think I would see someone. Listen, you should get out of here. I'd love to. But who's gonna clean this mess up if I do? Nah, I've still got work to do here. Yeah, this is exactly what we were thinking waiting for the train. Very well. I hope you'll have better luck. Of course I will. I am a god. I... God, I'm getting wrecked. Oh my god. <laughs> the god of stalwart determination. That's a piggy. Thank you. I'm gonna just frying up some ham here. Oh god! It was it was eating me alive. I was getting stuck in, in the goop. Getting goopified. Can I play? No, no. I guess this isn't already six where they let you ride the slide. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. Oh, there he goes. Give me your components, sir. Thank you. Bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen anything either. Oh, you trying to robots do like a whirlwind kick on me? Live after the brown <laughs> a decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. You're going nowhere in this condition. Literally. This place is cursed. The station. The entire maglev system. Starting with the ticket. I see. I excuse me. I need to board the train. Hey, you board, board some vodka in my brain. Some vodka. <laughs> Those were literally not showing up two seconds ago. Five, five, zero, 
six zero seven. Got it. I'll be out here scouting in my Adidas tracksuit. Goop tunnel. Some propaganda. Let me take a proper gander at this. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train Vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed by Chalamé engineers, Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network, Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. I'm almost out of time. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to?
Let's go over here and talk to this guy. I can't. I just can't. I can't leave this Dude, place. Apparently he's having you don't a have seizure. A spare ticket, do you, comrade? A ticket? Yes, I do. Man, with him moving it. It's useless. Oh. How come? Because this station is jinxed. Can't you see? <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to upset you. There's no other practical explanation. It's a jinx. I'm telling you. First, I overslept. Then I forgot my papers. Then I forgot the departure time. And then I almost missed the train. And when I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my eyes. This station is jinxed. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward superstitions, comrade? Take it! Take it! And break the jinx! Thanks. Not sure about the jinx, though. Into the goop. Works for now. Goop, 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 goop. Some goopy goop. Ninety nine red balloons. Oh. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. Here's your ticket. Now start the engine. Your ticket has expired. Your train departed four hours ago. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Are you shitting me? Expired? Everyone here was already dead four hours ago. Have you just been going back and forth the entire time? Start the engine before I kick your metal ass. Riding with an expired ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Choke on it and die, you fat turd. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. The fattest of turds. <clears throat> Tickets. The window is closed. I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place. Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide. Get away! You'll tick me off to the robots! You're hidden, okay? The bots will never find you. Now, can you tell me where I can get a train ticket? I'm not opening the ticket window. The robots will see me. Ask someone else for a ticket. They don't have names on them. <clears throat> Kai, rescue, failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Grab and key. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Son. Asshole. <laughs> like he was doing some, uh... I think that was a haiku. <laughs> Some right poetry there. A full house. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. Yeah, fixing the robots. Sorry, comrade, but there's no need for you to hide anymore. Are you trying to say they killed me? I knew it! Really? How? It's been several nights, but I'm still huddling in the same spot, and I can't remember what happened before the alarm went off. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. 
Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. But I am more dangerous. I'm not the danger, Sky. Or wait, no, wait. I'm not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. Uh. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in... 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next Charles, up, Professor Zaharov's death station. seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Seishinov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Seishinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Seishinov asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come uh, in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? The slippery little bitch! Fuck! Oh, you done bumped in the wrong neighborhood. Piece of shit! It's he pretty here. Don't be bonking. Just like my testing grounds inside facility 3826. There are many secret testing grounds where you can find a variety of blueprints to upgrade your arsenal. 
Entrances to the testing ground are marked on the map with a question mark. In addition, the Nora repair vendor can tell you the approximate location of the testing ground with the blueprints you need. Select the upgrade you are interested in, then tap M to open the map, which will show you the approximate location of the testing ground containing that upgrade. Better actually, Pretty more good. futuristic, and on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. I need to make sure I'm rotating my saves, oh shit. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. His mind is completely gone. I can't keep going like that, please, enough! Ugh, poor guy, pain is the last thing you can remember. Tough luck. I can't work so much! I need at least one day off! This must be one of the developers working on Collective 2.0's software. They had a few difficult days before the neural network update. And brutal deadlines. Same old story. Well, you got all the time in the world now, buddy. Oh, forgive us. You're... We fucked everything. He has expired. Charles, I keep thinking, what's up with their voices? As far as I can tell, the talking corpse's polymer memory is transmitting an audio stream through the interactive speech module installed in the thought device's voice assistant. So, in other words, they talk through the neurocontroller? So it would seem. When the thought controllers were initially distributed, only two voice profiles had been created, a male one and a female one. That's why their voices seem so similar. Needless to say, these people spoke quite ordinarily when they were alive. But they promised to significantly increase the range of voice profiles. Is that why you've got that weird, wheezy voice? It's rude to mock a man for something that is beyond his control, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. I was just messing with you. You've got a nice, sultry baritone. <laughs> a man. I, too, have a sultry baritone. Not really. Oh my god, please tell me I still have it. Okay, I do. So, I've decided... Keep a save around. <laughs> oh my god, keep a save around just in case. I will not be making that mistake. Again. I don't think that cam those cameras aren't important. <clears throat> At least I don't think they are. Come on. Authorization, Major. Das Boot. Authorization, Major. Dump off some more, some more garbage. There's like some Kickstarter ass music too. I could make the the Zvenedochka and a fat boy. I can only make one or the other though. I just, every time, I'm always gonna pick the rocket launcher. <laughs> big gun. Big gun for big problem. Big Soviet problem. Authorization. 
Major Nietzsche. See if I got any upgrades. No. What about the... Uh... Oops. That is not what I wanted. I'm going to do a little bit of upgrading. That's about all I'm going to get. Let's rock. Very pretty. Ooh. Hey, Robo, do you know my favorite kind of kill? Open kill. Ow! Fuck! Overkill myself. Oh my god, I didn't kill you? Damn, Rocket Launcher just sucks. Booty at first. Who would have thought it? Any goodies? No? Okay, good. Go, 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 go! Lego! Look at my tentacle, grab all of my goodies. Go on, go ahead, grab the goods. Why does every single one of these guys on the table just... Look at them. Pure ecstasy. This must have been that last guy's twin. Post nut clarity hitting everybody. I think it's one of these cameras. I guess not. This camera's worthless too! Worthless! <laughs> what is going on? My shots are just disappearing into the ether, apparently. Can I just interact with it directly? No. The answer to that question Why are you so it? prejudiced against Comrade Stockhausen? Because I hate cowards. He used to goose step through Berlin, and now he's a model communist? Not entirely fair. Comrade Stockhausen was a medical doctor and scientist during World War II. 
He was a professor of medicine. Why are you sticking up for him? I just don't like him, okay? I don't care what he used to be. I just hate the way he's always running around and sucking up to the boss. Just squash it. Give him the big suck. Some folks do indeed accelerate at giving the big suck. Can I not interact with that from here? Is that busted or something? Yeah, you can see that little black dot, like, it's, it's wanting to let me interact with it, but I just can't. Which is fine, because I don't think I actually need to. Thanks. Oh, Chalas. It's the Chalas. How do we get inside? I don't feel like wandering around here all goddamn day. Think carefully, Comrade Major. Is there anything you might have failed to consider? There must be a way into the VDNH. I'm just trying to loot. Give me a second. Why so many cameras guarding such little loot? Oh my god, the game's glitched. That wasn't showing up on my map. Or during the scan, I swear. Or the range just didn't go that far, but I think that's bollocks. I'm out. Good luck getting me from in here. <laughs> if anybody knows the song, put it in the comments. Time for a dungeon. We now have access to the scientific testing ground, Comrade Major. You can find valuable weapons in such locations in the future. Yeah, I know your science shit. All you do is deceive honest citizens with the concept of a bright future. No comment. Outstanding. Let's go take a look at the gear that'll help me see tomorrow. There's some decent gear to be found in here. You don't need to do all the testing facilities. I just think they're interesting enough to do. Though some of them really do test my patience. At least a few that I've done. Is that gonna kill me if I do that? I feel like I have to ask that a lot in this game. Is Testing this gonna kill me if I do that? One's magnetic and mechanical workshop is responsible for one, supplying samples used in all tests and research activities. Two, manufacturing external casings for piston type and thermal machines. Three, regular and cylindrical surface grinding, as well as spark erosion treatment for machine parts. <laughs> well, that was fucked up. Goodies? No. House music. House music. Stockhausen music.
Kind of get me in the mood for some armored core. music. I'm gonna have to pop off of this Kalash a little more, huh? It's a lot of ammo. some of that booty. What the hell is that? A special transporter for valuable cargo, or Comrade Lutyagen, according to the employee's facetious name for it. Valuable Lutyagen. cargo is all well and good, but why is it stuck there like that? Its base features a prototype of a perpetual motion engine that forces the... Boring. Give me the short version. Once released, it moves quickly between certain set points. It's dead still. Looks like your perpetual motion engine is busted. Oh my god, where do I go? Well, it looks like I'm going back through the tunnel. Something's telling me this isn't the right way to go, is it? I feel like I'm just heading back. It's because I am. Well, where in the bloody hell am I supposed to go? Oh boy, here we go. This is going to be a long part, folks. Because I do want to complete this testing ground before uh, I call this part good. I feel like this wasn't a problem the last time I played. Like, yeah, we're... No, something's wrong here. Fading data. This is the only way to go. I feel like I'm missing something. <gasps> Alright, I guess back in I go.
But what's that sound? Dude! I am being fucked with. That was not open a second ago. Oh my god, this game is cursed. Testing I'm not even joking. This emissions. game is literally cursed. An Archimedes group powered by the thermal emissions from a candle what the hell, man? element. The machines generate 2 million kilowatts hour of electricity a month. Enough to keep the entire testing ground operational for a year. nowhere to go. This game has some of the most questionable AI ever. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Dark house music. <laughs> what is going on with this game? It's it's being broken. Okay, we're gonna get through this. Testing round music. one personnel. To avoid unnecessary accidents, please leave the testing zone as soon as the testing on alarm is activated. Remember, a Soviet worker is always aware of their environment. This goes double for facility 3826 employees. I don't think that was the way.
There you are. It should come as no surprise to find access to modern weaponry deep within civilian testing grounds. Science and war have always gone hand in hand. Is that what your programming tells you to think? Shall we say, that's what I believe. Even the cartoons you're so fond of started out as revolutionary intelligence gathering methods. Lamentable though it may be, war is the engine of progress. I don't know where an AI glove could possibly get beliefs from, but if you ask me, I'm all about peace. And cartoons. And war? War never changes. At least that's what Ron Perlman told me. Janky FPS platforming never changes. God. Why so picky about what direction I'm facing? Good thing I double backed. Oh, it's got me thinking about the double down chicken sandwich. Oh, it sounds so good from KOC. That's the most American sandwich ever made. It's one of them. Please select the desired procedure. Uh, we keep saving for a little bit. Authorization. Never tab. I need to learn how to do that more. Just dump my pistol off. I don't need that. Get rid of some of those too. I'll get rid of two rows worth. Uh, break those down. Three rows worth. Plenty. Clean up that inventory just a little bit. Oh, I don't have enough yet. I need 10 more of those little landmine looking things. Fair enough. Just keep saving. You know, actually, I think this is a pretty good place to pause my recording. At least for this part. Once we get out of this elevator, maybe I'll do something fun where I just fade off into the distance and then the episode is over. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? 